Okay. All right. Hi, Let's everybody. Go. Pam Drizwicki here. Uh, Friday planning pop in with with uh, you guys. And today, as many of you might know, is that usually my topic on Fridays is based on my power word. And a power word is something that I have my clients or my followers pick on the feeling that they want to have during the week, right? What is that feeling you want to anchor you? Because it's so easy to get caught up in all of the minutia, and especially now when it's hard to keep a schedule um, because you're sharing your space with people that aren't normally home or you're caregiving or you're uh, distance learning or all of these different things that are going on in our lives, right? Um, and trying to find that new norm. So that power word is even more important now than it has been in the past. It truly helps you align with what you want to accomplish in your life, your business, or your career through the week. So when I do my planning, which is usually on Friday afternoons, I do my planning, um, I pick a word and last week when I was in the middle of my planning, my word was ignite. And it was just a word that, that this girl is on fire, right? Comes up, mm -hmm. I should put that on right now. It just, that word itself just makes me want to dance, right? And just mm -hmm. wants me to be able to ignite, just, just fire it all up. Now, the reason why I picked that word was because I wanted to align with what I had going on for the week. And I had some big things that I was planning on. Um, and I have a, a mastermind class that I'm doing tomorrow, a master class that is tomorrow. So I really wanted to get the word out and get on fire through this. So while we were thinking, while I was thinking about this, I was like, okay, how can other people continue to put out other people, instead of spending their time putting out other people's fires and igniting their own fire? I thought of a story, it was like when I used to work in the insurance company, right? I was constantly, I was a taskmaster. And I was always, always putting out fires constantly because I ran my day based on emails, phone calls, whatever was next that was coming in. And in that case, I had to take a step back and only when I started becoming a leader of my own life and my own desk <laughs> did my career start changing. Mm -hmm. Because then I started putting plans in place and I started setting the boundaries. So when I was thinking about this is okay, I don't work for anybody anymore. I work for myself. So how am I going to ignite my own fire? And while I was thinking about this, I was like, okay, the one thing that came up to me was that song. And then after that, the book. I don't know if you've had mm. the opportunity to read this book or not. What is it? The one? It's called The One Thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard. Yeah. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you haven't had the opportunity to read it, I would suggest to read it. I, when I have books like this, I truly, um, I like to have the hard copy of these books. Because uh -huh. I love taking notes and yeah. I love writing in the margins and highlighting and stuff. So I, it could be a quick, quick reference tool for me in the past. Have you read that book before? Um, I'm thinking, I've read, because I read so many like personal development books that um, like, have I, <laughs> I can't remember, who, who wrote it? Um, Gary Keller wrote this um, and yeah, I think I might've listened to an audible um, is, if it's on audible, um, but I, I think that's- it is. Yeah, yeah, but that's one thing, like, the one thing um, that uh, it's very relevant. And so I think that would be a good thing for me to read again, because I think we're home and like there's so much going on in the same place. A lot of, you know, more of what I hear from a lot of people right now is the inability to focus, mm -hmm. you know, um, because everyone's, you know, they have no defined space or everyone's in their space. And so it's like the one thing, like keeping the one thing in mind 
is an important thing. Like, what's the one thing? Yes, I did listen to it. I have listened to it. Yeah, because it. I don't know how long ago it came out, but it was really hot, right? Like, it was on the bestseller yeah. list yeah. and stuff. And and as as entrepreneurs, business mm-hmm. owners ourselves, yeah. we're always finding. Um, tools that we could use, right, to elevate our growth. Because if we're not, if we're not learning and reading, we're not growing. Right. And um, so this book came to mind when I was starting to put this together. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, okay, what is it? So I take a step back and I start thinking, um, what's the one thing? So it comes down to the roadmap to sanity, right? Like picking the one thing out of each each category really makes a difference. So creating that vision roadmap helps us identify what it is that we want to start on fire. And I know that sounds really funny, but that starting starting something on fire, but that truly energizes me when I yeah. think of that word, right? It doesn't it's sound funny, funny to me at all. Awesome. It sounds logical. You want to start something with hot and on fire and flame to get it going, you know, to Mm -hmm. to light it up and then you get it going. And then once it gets going, it's going. Yeah. I mean, that's what makes totals totally makes sense. You got to light things on fire for them to, you know, kind of. You know, move to, you have to let it. So, so um, I'm thinking of a, of a fire pit, right? And, and you start with all of the kindling in the bottom, right? start with a little paper. That's where your ideas start, right? Those are the small steps of Mm -hmm. layering to Mm -hmm. get us to the point where we want to start a bigger fire. So we don't go from just a little, a little hole to a blaze, right? We, even if something big starts on fire, it has to start small. It has to smolder. And yeah. that's where that's where all that visionary road mapping comes, right? It's all the mm-hmm. smoldering inside that fire. And then as you get it bigger, you poke it a little bit more, you try a little bit something else. But while you're doing this, making sure that you have boundaries around mm-hmm. what you're trying to accomplish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because there's so many times that people outside voices are going to try to dampen your fire or right. even yourself <laughs> even the head trash even well, the I think for me it's more what's going on inside my head it's just reminding myself exactly the what i'm focusing on it's i'm interrupting myself actually you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and when we have those disrupt disruptions mm-hmm. it throws us off our path yeah and then we have to come back and we have to try to feed it again Right. right. So having an actual roadmap and being consistent, mm-hmm. being consistent with what we want to accomplish, having that in front of us on a daily basis really helps get us to the next level. And while we're creating this roadmap and we're breaking it down to the small pieces, we need to create that action plan, not just a plan. We need an action plan. Mm-hmm. Because so many times we sit and we will make out plans, yeah, and we put no action to it, right? Because it may be too broad, and because it's too broad, we can't get we can't get focused on what we want to move forward to, right? Yeah. So the consistency, making the plan, setting the the boundaries around all of that. On top of it all, identifying. What is the best time for you to get the stuff done that is really important? Totally. Now, I could, right? So I could sit yeah. here and say, you know what? I'm an early bird. Mm-hmm. So I could get up at five o'clock and get mm-hmm. my day started, do my morning prayers, do my exercise, do my gratitude, all of that. Have my coffee and, and kind of look at the lay of the land of what the day is going to be, right? But I could tell you, you need to get up at five and start. That yeah. might not be your prime time. So really mm. identifying where the best time of day is yeah. is really important. Do you have yeah. a do you have a better time of day than others? I mean, for me, I try to like get the one. I've been thinking a lot about these topics. The one thing um, I have a 
the, with this pandemic, there's one, I have one goal right now. I'm not trying to, I'm trying to give up, not give myself too much to focus on, but mm -hmm. I get one thing done so that when this is, we're on the other side of it, I could say I accomplished that. Mm -hmm. And it's something that's been on my plate. And so I try to get it done early in the day so that it's like done and I feel good about my day. Like if all hell should break loose, <laughs> you know, then at least I got it done, you know, or like, you know, someone has an emergency, whatever, you know, it's like I have kids, some, you know, whatever. You know. Right, right. You don't ever know what comes up that you can't right. control. Right, nothing horrible, but just, you know, things sort of go, you know, like we, the, 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 the you know, our, our washing machine broke. So then I had to, I had to figure out, you know, it took me a day to figure out how am I going to get all this stuff, you know, things like that, you know. Mm -hmm. But if Something. you find that one thing that's going to set you on fire for the whole day, yeah. and you do it in your time frame that you yeah. love, that you function the best in, that's yeah. when you get the greatest results. And then at the end of the day, when you're recapping, you have at least one thing yeah. that you feel good about. Totally. And you, also, I, and then it sets the tone for the day. Like, I feel good all day because I feel like, oh, I'm, ki I'm kicking some booty here, you know? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So when we go through the process, because I am, I am a, um, when I'm working with my clients, mm -hmm. I'm very, uh, feeling oriented because mm -hmm. I think it's very important to understand what you're feeling at a particular time, right? So if you're feeling stress, okay, what is it that's making you feel stress? Let's look at that and mm -hmm. analyze it, right? So mm -hmm. having a coach is like having another eye on the landscape, another person just to look around and help navigate mm -hmm. you through this process. And that's, that's what I find with my clients they love the most is like okay when we got on a call i thought this is where we we're going to be and because of the questions you've asked we mm -hmm. ended up here mm -hmm. and it's so much further where i wherever i thought i would ever be yeah. so helping them continue to stoke their fire and mm -hmm. keep them focused on what they need is really important just like my coach does to me and his coach does to him and so forth. We all, you know, we're all working together in that. But when we step, take a step back for a second and we regroup, what is, I'm, I'm having somebody else come in. What is, mm. what is stopping, you know, what is stopping us? What's, what's that hesitation mm -hmm. that we have going on because of what's stalling us? So now, if we don't understand what's stalling us, then we can't m get the momentum yeah. to continue with the fire, right? For so sure. Taking yeah. time to do that. Is, is really is um, is really important also so when I was going through and I'm thinking of more things is um, ways that we could stay in the fire is not reacting to everything that happens right sure <laughs> yeah. reactions either good or bad takes us off where we um, mm -hmm. might not need to be at that particular time. Mm -hmm. So understanding what that feeling is that is causing the reactions, right? Being very active in stopping the distractions mm -hmm. around us so we could stay focused. Mm -hmm. So every Friday, I love coming here to mm -hmm. us give that 15, 20 minute boost Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you do it on Friday. What just to sort of set yourself instead of waiting for Monday or Sunday and stuff to kind of plan for the next week and stuff and sort of yes. recap while it's fresh. I mean, I think that's actually a great idea. You could start your weekend knowing what's up. Like, I think that's a great idea. Friday is a great idea. Start yeah. the weekend knowing what's in store for the next week and, and you don't have this anticipation, Sunday I'm going to figure it all out kind of thing. You know? Exactly, because then you have the weekend to actually, hopefully, mm -hmm. uh, recharge yeah. and be ready for Monday. So Friday afternoons is usually mm -hmm. the time frame that I set for myself. It's a non-negotiable. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, I have certain things in my calendar that are non-negotiable, wow. uh -huh. right? And that's what helps me continue to keep 
motivated because there are things that I look forward to that aren't going to mm -hmm. change. One of them is my planning on Friday afternoon. Mm -hmm. I recap the week. I yeah. identify what my success was for the week. Mm -hmm. Celebrate that success and then plan for the week ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's my power word going to be? Put yeah. that down and then develop the week. Yes. We already have appointments in our week, right? We already mm -hmm. have stuff going on, but in those white spaces, giving ourselves some time for ourselves and giving ourselves some time to feed in yeah. what we need to take it to the next level. Right. You also have time to think, I think. Also let it like gel a little bit over the weekend too. I think probably a lot of creative stuff happens in that time that it's mm -hmm. like, right? Or maybe you want to like revise it, you know, come Sunday or maybe you want, like it just makes a lot of sense to me. I think it's, it's a great idea. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Do you I'm going to implement that. Oh, that's awesome. I love yeah, that. No, I'm really going to do that. I'm going to do that. I think it's really smart. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you. So what you do is actually mark on your calendar. Yeah. During an appointment your, with yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Make that yeah. appointment for yourself. I'm yeah. going to share. I, I just wanted to share something. Um, where did it go? Oh, here it is. I do. I have a, a mini mastermind workshop mm -hmm. coming up. It's on okay. May 5th. Uh -huh. It's, and what we're going to do is we're going to go through the process of creating clarity around mm -hmm. the fire that you want to take to the next level. Cool. I'm only opening it for, um, for 10 women uh -huh. because I want it to, I want it to be small enough where everyone has the opportunity to share. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the link in the comments here. It is, um, you'll get a workbook mm -hmm. that you'll use that you could download through, through our time together. So everything is kept in one spot. Mm -hmm. um, and let me just, it definitely is going to be a shift on creating your roadmap it's part of my mm -hmm. Take Back My Life series. Like mm -hmm. really, it's part of that series of helping women truly take back their lives and become leaders of their mm -hmm. lives mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the way that they want to show up. Um, there's the link. And if you register for that, you'll get the workbook. It's about three hours long. It's going to um, help navigate what the next three months is going to look like for you. Oh. It, it's really understanding the re-entry because I think that's what's so more, most important right now, mm -hmm. re-entry into whatever it's going to be. A lot of people are going to want us and want our time mm -hmm. and knowing what we truly need for re-entry and how that looks like over the next three months mm -hmm. will be really important. I believe. Yeah. yeah. And mm. it, it's an evening. It's a, a 6.30 to 9 oh, or okay. so. So it's in the evening. So it's available after dinner and, mm -hmm. you know, to give yourself a little bit of time yourself. So the link is in there. Okay. Um, in the meantime, I thank you so much for joining me. Do you have any questions or anything else? Um, no, I mean, I think this was really helpful. And I like the idea of... Um, I'm trying to copy the link. I like the idea of, you know, what you've, um, you know, what you laid out here. Um, definitely with planning on a Friday. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think that I think that's a powerful thing to do, um, which I, I hadn't thought about doing on a Friday, but it makes sense. Kind of like when you were in school. Remember when you were in school and you do the week, like the end of the week, you kind of like clean up, do stuff, you know, before Monday comes, right? It just makes mm -hmm. a lot of sense. So yeah, it does. And the beauty of it is, I mean, I use my, this is my planner, you know, yeah. I designed. Yes. Like, oh, tell me about that. Yeah. Yeah. So it gives you the ability to scan the week. It shows where you could write your success mm -hmm. down on the bottom so you can analyze and, and you could say, okay, I, was, I did that really great. I got that yeah. done. Um, and it gives you the ability to flip to the next week and fill out, you know, all the things that you want to get done in the next week. So it's mm. a beautiful time and task management tool that a lot of women are finding are making a big difference in their planning. 
So it's either with the planner or with your own planner. It doesn't matter as long as you plan. That's what really matters. Yeah. As long as you plan and you take the time to plan and not just get up and get on the hamster wheel and just start going. Yeah. <laughs> and you're I'm going really nowhere, good. right? It's just like you're running the yeah. carrot. So let's start fires together. Let's start fires together. Sounds good to me. I don't know why I'm having the sound sounds weird. I don't know. I moved my, had a plug in my computer. Um, yeah, it sounds really, it sounds awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you. You definitely speak my language, but we talked about that, you know? Yes, we have. And, and I, I, I mean, I do. I feel like we're, we're very yeah. connected. Yeah. I mean, what you say totally resonates. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Awesome. And I'm thinking about a lot of the things that you said also. Well, I think you're also in tune, very in tune right now to what people are feeling, you know, like confusion, you know. Overwhelmed, fuzziness. Oh, you know. my goodness. Crying. Like, for no reason, right? Just mm -hmm. people, yesterday I had a full day. I had six, six clients yesterday. And I would say four out of those six clients were in tears. And it's funny, but it's like interesting, yeah. It's, it's a grief, and we talked about it. It's all about the grieving process oh. of what the losses are and when we're getting it back. So it was very, it was a heavy day yesterday. Interesting. Um, but it was wonderful to be able to be there to help them. And mm -hmm. we were, and I'm talking from um, owners of insurance, property and cash, mm -hmm. casualty companies mm -hmm. to small business owners to individual women. Like it was like a gamut of women that I worked with yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it really was eye opening about the grieving that people may be feeling right now. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. going to get more apparent over the next four weeks. Yeah. So that's why, that's why I put that mini mastermind together uh, because it's, I wanted it to be affordable a no brainer yeah. for women to jump in and just get started. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, um, I'll definitely, I think I'll do it. I mean, yeah, I think take a look. Like, uh, like a really good idea. Um, you know, well, as you know, I'm always connected to people who are doing personal development and productivity. I'm always talking about these things because yeah. I have groups that I work with, accountability, partners, groups, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes, take my butt. <laughs> keep me on test. Um, we all need that. We all need yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. And then I return the favor to them. So, yes. Um, <laughs> so that sounds great. I appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Thank you for jumping on and thank you for our other guests that's on. And yeah. I, I wish, I wish everybody watching this, um, a happy, healthy, uh, weekend. And until next time, if you need me, feel free to reach out Pam at powerful purpose.com. Thank you. And thank you. Uh, take care. Bye.